Okay, today we're going to extend on from our last video of uh, how to take these forks in the road and get the robot to go where you want it to go when there's a fork in the road. Um, last video dealt with a single sensor robot. We're now going to work it with the two sensor robot. Now we know before when we were making a two sensor robot, there was three possibilities. The right one was on the black, the left one was on the black, or neither was on the black. Now what happens is it never tests all three things at once. It will test for that one, then it will test for that one, and if both of those fail, then it assumes that neither have it. So what happens is that when we get to a split in the road, he's coming along here. As he comes along, he hits that one. That will want to make it turn. But as it starts to turn, you end up where both sensors see black. Now, depending upon the order in which you test the black to which way it will go, if it tests that one first, it will go that way. If it tests that one first, then it will go that way. So depending which way we want to go with this fork in the road, in our program, which order we test in. So I've written two programs here, one that tests the left sensor first, and one that tests the right sensor first, and you'll see that it will go either way at the fork. So I'll come down here, I'm going to run my left one first, he will go around the course, normal two line sensor, I'm using proportional steering, he gets here, he goes the left way, because we tested the left first, comes down to he hits B. Then if I come down here and I run my other program, my right one, this time he tests the right sensor before he tests the left sensor, so when he gets up here to the fork, he will turn right and go out to that one. Right, so just depending on the order in which we test it in, which one will take precedent. Okay, let's have a look at my two programs. Right, this first one here is the right hand turn one. Right, I have my right hand sensor in port four and my left hand sensor in port one. So you can see the program, it tests port four first and only if port four is negative for the black, then it tests port 1, and of course if port 1 is negative for the black, then it goes straight ahead, and I just have proportional steering on them. When I look at my uh, turn left program, you'll see that I test port 1 first, and then test port 4 second. So it makes it turn, uh, test the left hand one first, and turn left first, and it's as simple as that.